What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog the day after my birthday and if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog that's when I was celebrating the birthday we also had an amazing birthday live stream I really enjoyed it also had a zoom call with a potential employer in the states so that's the story about that but today we're gonna do something interesting because Evelina gave me a gift of this chain right here I really like it and I'm gonna wear it all the time and my grandmother also gave me a gift and I'll show you what it is. So I got a gift of a coin like this and you might be wondering what the heck is this? It is a golden coin which is the 999 probe 7.78 grams and it is a 50 ruble coin from 2007 and I was thinking what's the point of just having it? I mean, you know, putting it in a safe, blah, 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 or selling it, that would be very stupid. I think this should be more of a memorable piece of my 25th birthday. And this is, I did not expect something huge like this. So I'm going to go today to a jeweler, hopefully, for him to make some sort of a pendant or something like that. So I could be wearing it on my chain, like something like this. I think this would be quite cool walking around with a golden coin i'll be like lord of the rings but with a coin how cool is that what do you guys think in the description i i know that a lot of you guys are going to be like oh my god i'm a avid coin collector you're just gonna ruin the coin you know what <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna ruin the coin or something like that but it is my coin and um i want to wear it beside my heart because this is more like a memory and it's always going to hold up its value. This coin by itself is not that valuable because you could actually buy them in a Russian bank. If you go to the bank and you say, I need a golden coin, you could literally buy it straight away without no problem. So I'm going to wear this. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to wear this. I think this is very, very cool. What do you guys think? Now, a lot of you were asking, did I get the ladder sold? No, it's still on sale. Nobody's really buying it because the winter is nearly over i only got a trade offer for another ladder that i don't need and i won't be able to sell for a long time as well so i don't know guys gonna warm up the escalade though Ooh, a bit chilly today but not freezing cold at all not that bad not that bad let's hear the sound of the v8 what could be better than a bit of v8 in the morning oh my god that sounds amazing that just sounds great i also need to buy some wiper fluid which costs like five dollars everywhere but there are people who sell it out of their cars for two dollars and it's actually way better than the stuff you buy at the gas stations so I gotta find one of those people. And that's exactly what we're also going to do today. We're gonna see how do people do business in Russia and how they sell windscreen wiper fluid. God, how guys, do you, how do you guys even watch this? I don't even know, but I think that's very interesting. It's the guy that sells all the stuff that I need. Heck yes, perfect. To get out somehow. Flipping nice. Now I got the fluid. I'm on a kind of a highway. This guy sells it. He basically sits here and sells it all day in his car. And uh, two dollars better than paying five. Anyways, let's put that in. My hands are filthy dirty right now. Oh, this is a mission successful. Now I can actually see something out of my windows. Before doing anything, we gotta first eat some three dollar steaks in the big because that stuff is good. Where are you gonna eat some steaks for three dollars? Gonna have a steak and then we're gonna find the jeweler if he answers me to go and eat some. Go and eat? What am I talking about? To go and do that uh, golden coin embezzlement or whatever the heck it's called so I could be wearing it around like a real G. So we finally made it over to the big where everything costs three dollars except like premium steaks i tried them before but they're pretty much the same anyways could get so much stuff for three dollars it's not even funny burger steaks you could get a new york steak whatever the heck you want very flipping nice i'm definitely gonna have a new york steak and chicken wings or something like that oh here is my three dollar steak 
what could be better than a three dollar steak with a bit of pastrami a lot of you guys were saying the heck is a salad doing a pastrami it's actually very good it's got some bell peppers that were like marinated and some onion and the salad very nice you take a bit of pastrami you take some salad in oh my god this is harder than i thought how is this possible for three dollars i have no idea but it's like one of the best salads ever do i look like a ton of salads no but i actually like this salad it's really good okay i'll try out evelina's salad now this is the type of salad i don't like at all What's some Mm. That's actually very tasty. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but this is one heck of a good salad. Holy cow. Okay, if you're ever in Moscow, I recommend this place, all right? It actually tastes good and cheap. Three dollars. Oh, I already cut my steak in half, but this is a three dollar Apparently a New York steak, which is very good with a bit of pepper sauce. Got some salt, peppers, tomatoes, garlic. You can see Evelina is enjoying a bit of that stuff right there. Now it is time for me to try out the steak. So let's cut it up. And I remind you guys, this is a $3 steak. Dip it in the pepper sauce, because I love pepper sauce. Mm. I gotta tell you, the meat is soft and it tastes like it's been cooked under a fire, which in my opinion is fire. So this is really good. Whoever's eating right now, bon appetit. A lot of people are like, you gotta stop eating on camera and stuff like that. We're never gonna stop eating on camera because this stuff is good. And where are you gonna see a guy eating a $3 steak? I mean, like, come on. So you could get yourself ice cream. Здравствуйте. Hmm. What ice cream do I want? We got all chocolates, I'm getting myself a vanilla ice cream. Uh, so Evelina, like usually, took a bite out of the ice cream already, let's try it out. Oh, this tastes good. Mm. And it's actually really cool to actually see the ice cream being dipped in and stuff like that. Although, it nearly cost like the steak, which is two and a half dollars. Mmm, diabetes, here I come. So as I said at the start of the video, I want to make that necklace out of that coin. So that is why we came over. I was searching for a place to go and uh, I think we need to get in somehow into the jewelry place, which is down here. So the place we went into is very questionable and the prices are quite high. So I don't know, but uh, the guy had flipping golden teeth that he said, oh yeah, I can melt them down. So I was like, what the heck? Why would I want somebody's golden teeth melted down? I got out of that place as fast as I could. That was weird. I was like, how in the world did you get them? But you know what? I actually don't want to know. And we kind of left. That was a bit weird. Anyways. I don't know what we're gonna be doing today but it seems like what i want to do without damaging the coin is actually quite expensive so i don't know we'll have to think about what we could do about it well after being offered a bit of teeth to be molted in to make a necklace we've decided to go in and watch a bit of horror movies because what else could you watch after being offered a bit of teeth i gotta remember where i came from echo store echo so ivan if you forget where you parked watch this video anyways we're gonna watch some horror movie with evelina and she's very scared we watched a few indigenous movies and she's afraid as heck so now it is time to watch something scary on a big screen and myself i go to the cinemas because i like a bit of natural cheese because i'm a fat guy but right now we're gonna go do wheezing around the place very nice. I know what I'm gonna be taking to the cinema with me today. A bit of Dr. Pepper. I wanna take a random bottle from the back. I, I always feel like it's gonna be a better bottle. Not this time though. Okay, I'm gonna take this bottle. It looks good. Yes. Dr. Pepper. 
the way that Evelina says Dr. Pepper every time is so funny. She says it Dr. Pepper. That's how she says it. Anyways, got myself a Dr. Pepper. Now all we need is some cinema tickets and some nachos with cheese. Now tell me guys, are you a nacho person or a popcorn person? Because I myself am a nacho person. I just noticed this in the stores. I remember there was Duracell all over the place and now we have Opticell. It says new hero, the same quality. The heck is this Opticell? Heck. Here we go, finally coming into the cinema. There's a bunch of bad rush movies here, but we're gonna be checking out some American ones. Oh, Dobry Cola and Dobry Deer. Anyways, let's buy a ticket in one of those things. Hopefully get some good seats as well. Hopefully all those people are not going to the same movie as us. We got some nachos, got some nacho cheese. Perfect. It's a ripoff though, $5. There's a huge queue to go in for some reason. <sighs> Got some nacho cheese and waiting for the movie. With a bit of Dr. Pepper. Very nice. And cinemas are ruined. They don't heat up the nacho sauce anymore. Unbelievable. Oh my God. And it smells weird here. But this is unbelievable. I wished that the sauce was warm, like in every single normal place. So we were watching the movie, I think it was called Deliver Us. Oh my God, that is the worst movie I've ever saw in my life. One of the worst ones. I don't even know how we sat through the whole movie. It was just absolutely horrific. I've never seen a worse movie like that. So if you ever see Deliver Us, don't watch it. It's horrible. So I came to a realization when I was in that jewelry place and uh, he held out some gold teeth there were definitely somebody's before and that kind of uh, gave me an idea so who in their mind would take out golden teeth while they're alive i mean like that only means one thing those teeth were taken out from a dead person and now the guy's gonna probably melt it down and make some jewelry out of it and he said he has already made some earrings for one of his friends out of golden teeth that are probably from some dead body. What the heck is going on in Russia? This is just unbelievable. I don't know if that happens in any other countries, but I think this is just, I don't even know what to say about this. This is just over the top. This is just not how everything is supposed to happen. And it is crazy. What do you guys think about it? I think it's very flippant bad. I mean, like ripping out teeth from a dead body. I hope from a dead body. I hope it wasn't ripped out of somebody alive because I don't even know what's worse. Holy schmucks, the world we live in right now is crazy. Oh my God. You know, the older I get, the crazy, the crazier stuff I encounter, it's crazy. Well, just finished editing my birthday vlog with a barbecue vlog. If you have not checked it out, you can see the previous video. Uh, right now, I'm probably just gonna have a cup of coffee, go on the computer, reply to some comments. Go check out my Boosty as well. The links are going to be in the description. I'm planning to post more info there. And um, to be honest with you, I have no idea what we're going to be doing. I'm still in shock about those golden teeth. Um, yeah, it's flipping crazy. Anyways, let me render the video. I need to post out a video and I'll be right back. Well, after releasing the yesterday's vlog, it is now time to get some food. And you know what? We didn't get anything home and we thought that we're just going to fall asleep. But right now it is 1 a.m. in the morning. I was replying to your birthday wishes, which I really appreciate. And we got very hungry. So the only place we can go and eat is Kusnetochka. But we're not going to eat there. We're going to go. Wow, Evelina, thank you very much. We're going to go to Kusnetochka, get ourselves the meal, come back home, watch a movie and enjoy the evening. What could be better? I was searching for another few jobs, no success. So let's hope that something figures out. Maybe you have a business and you need to hire a man like me. I'll be up for it. Just sponsor me in, that's all I need. I'll be the best worker you can get. Advertisement, sanction Ivan at your case. Holy schmucks, the cats are going bananas here racing down holy macaroni that is some real cat racing right there coming out into the wilderness with evelina 
to get ourselves a bit of Macadies. Holy smokes. We gotta go undercover so nobody finds out where we are. We have Evelina right here looking at some branches. Oh my God, she found a piece of ice. She's being like a cat. She got stabbed in the face. And we got the Escalade without one light working for some reason. Evelina is running to get a bit of Macadies. Let's flip and go. Okay, good morning, neighbors. Oh, the Holy Grail. We have arrived over to Fkusna Itochka. There's a lot of cops on the way. And what's going on, but <laughs> try to stop me. You're not gonna catch up. So let's go to the drive through of Kusne Tochka. Very nice. Oh, Evelyn is saying there's some sort of a monopoly. Very nice. We shall check that out. A bit of monopoly. Very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look, you can see the monopoly. The monopoly. Ooh, look at the Russian Happy Meal. You could get a toy of the Russian Masha. Masha. Kids combo with chicken and a toy. That actually looks legit. That looks legit. You could get some stickers. You could get some burgers. You could get whatever you want, mate. Whatever you want. A lot of people were saying that there's a, a double Big Mac in the States. We have it in Russia as well. We are going to be spying, seeing what sort of equipment is they're using. They're using some Frank coffee machine. I don't know what uh, they're using right there where they have Lipton. Lipton hasn't left Russia. They use Dobry Cola out of that machine right there. We're spying around. Well, спасибо большое. We got some sort of stickers, so Evelina is going to open them now. Oh, oh. We got... Oh, we could get a Samsung phone. Very nice. What is that? Oh, you get to choose what you need to use it for. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another one. Another one to win a smartphone. Oh, another promo code. Wow, if you get all the streets, you get $5,000 to your Tinkoff bank. Wow, this is not a paid commercial. You guys don't even have that bank. Oh, we want a hamburger. Very nice. Later, we'll get it later. We want a hamburger. Oh, 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 my God. Imagine winning five G's out of Fkusne Tochka. Oh! Oh my god, I think we're gonna be able to make some money out of this place. Very nice. Guys, funnily enough, we're one street away from $5,000, one street away from a Samsung phone, and two streets away from. Yeah, that's a scam. Oh my god, look at the size of that bad boy! Oh my God. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? We're not gonna be having it at home. We're gonna be eating it in the car. Oh my God, I'm already making a mess. Got cheese on my pants. Let's try the four patty big hit and see if it's any good. Mm. Oh my God. This is actually very good. Because I remember in the live streams, you guys told me that you guys in the U.S. have a Big Mac, a double Big Mac. We have a double Big Hit here. And you know what? It actually tastes good. Mm. Bon appetit to whoever's eating right now. Well, guys, I guess this is it for today. We had a bit of Kusne Tochka and it's 2 a.m. right now. So we're going to fall asleep and get ourselves more fatter. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, press like button, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram in the links below. See you later, guys, and have a good night.